So a couple of um, days ago, we got called out to do a job just around the, um, just over at the local um, pub. They're still working over the pub, cooking mm -hmm. food for a takeaway service. Um, and in particular, doing lots of fish and chips. So they're using the deep yeah. fat fryers quite a lot. And they've got this dual deep fat fryer and one of the fryers wasn't working. So they phoned me up and, and, and asked if they could um, come, and, um, come and try and fix it. So I got over there and, um, and one of the fryers was working like what they said, but then the other side of the fryer wasn't working. Now they were both on two separate circuits, two separate isolation switches and two separate RCBOs. So, um, so, um, so they were com completely separate um, fryers just in, in one unit. So I had a, I had a, um, I, I turned the fryer that was working on and that, that all operated okay. Um, but then the, I noticed that when I turned it on, there was a clicking noise and with the well, one that wasn't working, there was no clicking noise. And so I just used my voltmeters and I just checked the voltage coming in, which was okay, but there was no voltage that, or there was no, um, voltage going out on the output side. So that led me to believe there was something probably wrong with the thermostat switch. So this is a three pole thermostat. And so you'll notice it's got a sensor that goes up into the, that goes into the actual frying um, unit. And then there's the terminations on the back. So it's three poles. Um, and so basically all this does is when you turn the fryer on, um, that just operates a little thermostat inside here, which operates a little switch and then allows electricity to go down to the um, to the actual heating elements. So that had gone wrong. So I was able to manually override it by just pressing this button in, which was then operating the thermostat. Um, but that wasn't um, that's, that's no good. It wasn't holding in. So I could have tried to fix it, but I just um, went onto the internet um, because the wholesalers weren't open and um, and this has just turned up today. So again, this is the new thermostat that's turned up. It looks almost identical. It's got the same model number. So a three pole um, thermostat and the terminations all look to be the same. So we'll go and fit this over at the pub now. So I pulled the back of the fryer out and now there's all these screws that need to be undone to get access to the um, to the to the back of it. That's the back cover off, and you can see there's four wires on here, um, and they have to go onto the, the the different connections on the actual thermostat. And so you can see that even though it's all completely dead and locked off, I just literally take the ends off and put a bit of tape on here, just writing the numbers. And also I wrote the numbers down on the on the actual cables as well. So for example, you've got 31, 11, um, it's at 22 and 12 by the looks of it. So they all go onto the um, onto the actual thermostat. So let's get that fitted. We've got the correct cables now going on to the onto the actual thermostat. So you can see you've got number 12, number 32, number 31, and number 11. So the next thing is now I've got to thread this thermostat through to the actual fryer itself. Now we've got the thermostat fitted in place. We've got this thermostat, um, the, the part of the, 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 the actual sensor coming up through here and then it comes down through here and then it's going to go into the actual element. I need to just put a clip on there. I think I've left the clip at home so I'll have to go and get that again. Um, it's really important to be careful that the any of the uh, that none of these live terminals are touching. So when I put it back together, I need to be very careful. But hopefully, we sh should be able to get it back working again. Back. All back together. And so now to put the covers on the top and redo. Just make sure all this is safe in here. Get the thermostat on. Got the old thermostat now, so. This clip needs to go on and then the screws can go back in as well. All, everything put back together. Turn it on so we're going to... 
put this back in. So we've got that back in. Been very careful not to spill the oil because that's still very hot. I've um, these are now um, turned in the on position. I was just going to turn the circuit breakers on. All the RCBOs have now been turned on, and well, that's this is the original one. Should should hear a click, so that clicks in and the light comes on. And then this one. Again, that works now. And just to double check to see that it is working, straight away I can feel, I'm obviously not touching it, but I can feel it getting very warm. My hands are very greasy so far, but yeah, that's soon becoming very warm. And again, a bit of the smoke coming through, so that should be okay. Let's just turn the extractor fan on. 